To begin with, um, the challenge in managing the Sharia compliant asset is um, mainly on two parts, which is, I think the liquidity is an issue. And there's two parts. Uh, one is the equities, and the other part is the suku. Yeah? I think I heard a lot of being discussed on the suku. On the equities, um, the challenge is always um, the company uh, would borrow either from conventional or sharia, from Islamic. But the moment the percentage is, uh, for conventional loan is higher than the uh, Islamic, uh, the equities will then be designated as non-compliance. Mm. So the moment it becomes non-compliance, the fund manager will have to sell the equities. Mm. So th this is actually a challenge, especially when we are at the bearish market. Yeah? I think uh, when the market is bullish, uh, the gain can always be channeled to, uh, under Malaysian law, um, it will be channeled to buy two mile or charitable organization. But, um, but when you are at the bearish market, um, you don't have to sell immediately under the Malaysian law. You can hold until the uh, price where you bought is, is uh, if you were to sell, will not incur any losses. That is on the equities. On the suku, I think I heard about the liquidity. Even though Malaysia issued the biggest suku globally, but you can understand, even though there is a lot of supply, but still, because the, the fund asset growth in Malaysia is in the range of around 35 to 40 billion a year, so the amount of standing, um, I think around 150 billion US dollar, Suku is still not sufficient even for the Malaysian market. So among the fund managers, there has been a continuous um, uh, chasing of a suku, mm. uh, yeah, buying yeah. the suku bond. So these are the real challenges in, in, in managing the, the takaful or the sharia funds. It's almost like uh, constantly it's a buy and hold. Uh, when you see a suku buy and hold, yes. uh, does that impact the fact that you generally would buy any type of sukuk that comes to the market? Um, no. Again, I think rating does play a lot of role. Yeah. Uh, major factor taken into consideration, I think most companies tend to hold the double A and above. Yes. And so. stay away from the single A simply because in the volatile market, uh, you rather better stay, better be safe than sorry. Yes. So the double A and above, uh, even to a certain extent, triple A and above, these yeah. are the choices. Yeah. And uh, you stay away from the single A.